Yeah. Now I can't get the tutorial back up. Well, there's an easy way. Well, there's two ways you can do this. You can either reinitiate the tutorial, uh, but I'll still go through everything else because I think it's a lot faster just to walk people through it. If you do want to go and reset your tutorials, you go into settings, game, and then reset tutorials. This giant button in front uh, of my face that I didn't look at. Ah, okay. But it's a lot easier. I, that's, oh. that's, that's something I'll do down the road. Yeah, I mean, it's a good tutorial. I ran through it, but I was kind of like, go, go, go. I don't need this. I don't need this. I need just, come on. <laughs> so it is a good well, tutorial. See, that's, but... that's, that's what I need. A yeah. lot of it's intuitive because, you know, Harvester designed it and yeah. it's KSP. Basically, it's it's KSP in a different nutshell. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, so I'll show you the quick build. So if you go to the cockpits, we'll just use this little thing right here. Uh, we'll do a little simple airplane. Uh, so we'll throw on this radial nacelle. This is one of the few parts that engines will gracefully fit into. Okay, hold up. Let me catch up to you. Yep. And then my favorite part, the OD0 adaptive fuselage. I throw in the back. It's the, it's the only one that's a different color from the rest. And the reason I do that is because that actually lets you lengthen your, your craft. It's an adaptive part so it's very uh it's it's a procedural the, the and one, yeah it's the one black one ah, Third row. Okay. yeah uh and it actually is really nice because it's has a nice little balance for snapping batteries in and it's of course, one of the best the round tail you can use the round tail if you want or i usually use the type m fairing type m fairing yeah there we go. Okay, now we have a shape. All right, so that's your basic airplane. Uh, so from here, uh, you just click on your center of mass, center of thrust, and aero stability. Now with one engine, uh, we're gonna be—I'm gonna be using the backwash engine in my uh, in this one. That's gonna get me to around 72 kilometers per hour. Uh, two will get you to around 120. So it's something to pay attention to because you can click on the gear. And you can actually set your speed for the simulated airspeed. Oh, okay. So, and, and that it'll actually change as you go. You can also toggle your center of lift there. It's not super accurate at the moment. It will shift and veer, but I use it mostly just to... Just to... Okay, mm -hmm. show, show me where you clicked on the gear. Yep, right up here. Like once you show your aero stability. Oh, up there. Okay. Yeah, right up here. So I usually yeah. grab the AF dash. The AF one is my primary wing, the really thick boy wing. Okay. And then in the back, I'll just throw the uh, AF M zero. And then a tail. Come to find out that angled tails actually work better. But that's that's neither here nor there. That yeah. Okay. So I I see you do have the problem of getting their tail straight. Yes. The tail plane. You have to. Okay. Yeah. I was having problems with that yesterday. And... <laughs> well, here's a little trick um, that you can do is when you're picking parts, you can put it on here and you can press space bar and that's going to align okay. it to whatever you have it. Oh, that's what I that. was looking for. That's what I was looking for because I was I had a pretty sick plane I was working on, but yeah, it did not work. <laughs> <laughs> and so from here, it's all about just balancing out the craft. It should be fairly well balanced from now, and basically our goal is to keep it like this. Of course, you have your span and your cord. Uh, definitely yep. watch. I was playing with that yesterday. Do not play with the thickness. <laughs> <laughs> you can make some really thick wings. Uh, thick yeah, wings. Um, so here's where some of the playing around comes in. Um, I found that having your oops. rear, your rear wings on your tail fin actually give you better maneuverability when you're going for a loop. I found the things that make a super difference is the thickness. 
the chord and of course the, the span. The sweep is very minor. But it's minor in a lot of my designs. <laughs> I've also started to do like dual controls in the back because what I found is that it will drop everything to like a hundred percent in there and I don't always want that a hundred percent. Ah, okay. And so I'll put two in the back and that will allow me to then adjust it a little uh, so I can be a little bit more precise. It tries to set up all of your uh, control surfaces so you don't really have to fiddle with them too much at the beginning. In KSP you don't have to do this <laughs> but in this game I've started to actually add a the uh, front control surfaces for pitch as well because it adds the stability in the aircraft. How do you copy a part? Uh, hold right -click R. And right click. Yep. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. You can also toss some wheels in there. Right now, it's not very stable for wheels. To be completely honest, they tend to just break if you land slightly too hard. Not like KSP where they have a really good resistance. Um, right. Yeah, they tend to just break. Okay, control surface is set. All right. And All right, so let's go ahead and throw a backwash engine on here. And if you look from just about the front, it should snap right in there into the nacelle that we put on there earlier. I usually pull that forward a little bit just so I can put on my quad propeller and then I'll slide it back. Makes it a little easier. Yeah, adjust it that later. Okay. Oh, let's throw some guns on there real quick because guns are always fun. I just okay. snap those right on. They always will point forward because they, ha if you right click on them, they have an auto align. So doesn't matter where you place them, they're always going to be pointing forward. And I'll just throw. Uh, so which one, the the thud or the uh, hailstorm? The thud doesn't have very very much ammo. I like the hailstorm. It's heavier, but it definitely has enough ammo to keep you going for a while. And then it's just the battery. I usually go with four batteries. And that's more than enough for a good flight time. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did yesterday. I've, I've done RC stuff before, so I know about how long the batteries last. Gotcha. <laughs> and that's what you'll see is that a lot of times it's going to end up being a little tweaking having to go a little more tweaking, a little more tweaking, but I've noticed that I can have a little orange in the bottom there and it doesn't overly affect the aircraft. A little orange. Okay. Okay. So uh, a lot of times I can get away with that. Uh, ideally, I tried to get rid of that orange because that's your instability, but it's like you don't want to have it full blue because then it's not going to have any maneuverability. So. A thin blue line will give you a really twitchy aircraft, uh, but it's also a little harder to control. <laughs> I usually don't even save it until I have the first flights in, because sometimes okay. I just scrap the whole now, thing. Do you not make any adjustments to your control surfaces as to which does what, or do you let it auto set? I let it auto set, and then I'll come back and adjust it as needed. F okay. I find on some aircraft, it's perfectly fine. A lot of times I do need to set down the roll control on the front control surfaces a bit. Other than that, it should be fine. You can, if you hold your left click, your left mouse button, you can actually walk around. All right, now hold on, let me pick it up first. Okay, it's in my hand. Yep. All right, so yeah, you just press F and then it'll grab it. You don't have to hold okay. F like you used to. And then you can actually walk around if you want. Okay. I just want to get this in the air right now. Right. I'll explore yep. a little later. So what you need to do is press tab and then click on start stop engines. Tab. Okay. My engine isn't running. Uh, well, you got to throttle all the way up. Or throttle up. Oh, that's right. Nope. Not getting anything. Uh, press tab and see if your start stop engines is that orange yep all right and so when you and you put your batteries on yeah hmm so when you throttle up is what's your throttle say right now 
Uh, I don't even... Scroll shit. Throttle. It should just be, um... Ah, there it goes. Shift. Okay. Yep. It's the same controls as in KSP, though. Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. Yeah, once you're airborne, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, everything just stopped. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Oh, my controls are funny. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to use the HOTUS, and that just did not work. <laughs> <laughs> Something messed up. Oh, wait a minute. All right, now let's try it. Okay. Uh, how do you get back up again? F9? Uh, no, you can either recover or you can, um... In, recover, yeah. Yeah, just click on recover. Recover. And once you recover, if, ah. you, if you recover, you don't have to restart your engine. You can just press Z or throttle up. I've also found that if you lift off the ground, it does not fly the same way. Um, so I tend to just throw my aircraft for now. Whoops. Oh, she's a little twitchy, but she flies. <laughs> but yeah, that's the basics of it, uh, building a craft of flying.